Hello and welcome to The Federal. My name is Shreyas. The first half of 2023 is over. In the Tamil film industry, only five films have managed to recover their investment and earn profits in the first six months of this year. In this half-yearly report, what stood out is that some small budget films sprung a surprise and became super hits. Here's the story. This year started with a bang as two superstars decided to clash at the box office for Pongal. Trade analysts were worried that one of the films could lose badly due to the stiff competition. However, it turned out to be a profitable gamble for both the films. Despite getting mixed reviews, both Warisu and Tuniu managed to enter the 300 and 200 crore club respectively. As per reports, Vijay's Warisu earned 301 crores at the worldwide box office, while Ajit's Tuniwu managed to earn about 205 crores at the worldwide box office. Distributors and exhibitors were hoping that the dream run would continue for a few more months. However, that didn't happen. Director Vetri Maran's Vidutalai Part 1, starring Vijay Setupati and Suri Muthu Chami, gave some relief to theatre owners when the film released in March. Reportedly, the film raked in 35 crores at the Indian box office and made a total of 51.2 crores at the worldwide box office. Vijay Anthony's Pichekaran 2 is another film that put the producer in the green. The Vijay Anthony and Kavya Thapar film reportedly earned 40.45 crores at the worldwide box office. The film did reasonably well in the Telugu speaking states and the collections from both Tamil and Telugu made it a profitable outing for the producer. Surprisingly, a film made on a small budget turned out to be a blockbuster this year. The film was Vignesh Raj's Poor Tolil. As per trade analysts, the film was made on a budget of 7 crores and the movie had managed to rake in nearly 20 crores at the box office within the first three weeks. It is reported that the final collections of the film stands at 31.5 crores worldwide. It turned out to be a great return on investment for the producers. By now, some of you might be wondering what happened to Mani Ratnam's Ponyan Selvan 2. Well, as per reports, Ponyan Selvan 2 raked in nearly 345 crores at the box office. The film took off to a great start but lost its steam after the opening weekend and the film failed to set the box office on fire like the first part did. Industry trackers have said that PS2 did not make profits. There is no doubt that audience inside theatres have reduced post the pandemic. OTTs have become the new age platform and watching films in theatres, especially in multiplexes, have become a costly affair. Only big budget films starring superstars manage to draw audience during the opening weekend. However, it is only good content that can draw the audience after the opening weekend irrespective of the budget and star cast. Now, for the second half of 2023. The Tamil film industry is looking at two or three films to stir up the box office. That would be Talapati Vijay's pan-Indian film titled Leo, directed by Lokesh Kanagaraj and superstar Rajnikanth's Jailer, directed by Nelson. These are two of the most anticipated Tamil films in the second half of 2023. Director Shankar and Kamhasan's Indian 2 is another film that the audience and the industry is looking forward to. But there is no confirmation on the release date as of now. The first half of 2023 has been dull for the Tamil film industry. Now, it needs to be seen if the second half can turn out to be lively. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.